By request today, I'm going to talk about prepass. How does it work? What does it do? Is it magic? Let's explain it to everybody. Hello and welcome to Trucking Answers. I'm Mark, your transponder host. And I had a question about prepass. So we're going to go ahead and explain how exactly prepass works, what does it do, and all the magic things that come out of the sky to make it work. First, I want to point out to everybody that we're still at DEF CON 5. All right, so prepass. Many of you have this prepass in the uh, on the windshield of your truck that's called a transponder. The thing that's over the road is an advanced vehicle identification reader, all right, an AVI, and it's about one mile away from the scale house. So you're bebopping along with your load, singing along to your favorite Anne Murray songs, and overhead is the AVI. So it sends out magic waves. Now, hang on. I'm going to use some highly technical terms in this. Magic waves come out and hit your transponder and wake it up and say, hey, who the heck are you anyway? Who are you? All right. And your transponder says, all right, this is who I am. It sends back your company information. And they check through 90 things. It goes back in the computer and it checks through 90 things, including your safer web score of your company, all right? That's important because when we're looking for a company, one with a garbage safer web score, you're gonna be in the scale all the time, that transponder's not gonna help you. All right, so it checks all that right here. And according to prepass, 99% of them are checked within one second and you get the little light on the transponder. Red, you got to pull in the scale, of course. Green, you get to bypass the scale. Now, if you notice, the green light uh, stays on. The lights stay on for 15 minutes, about. And that's in case the popo pull you over later and go, hey, you bypassed this. You go, no, here's the light blinking on the transponder. That's why they keep the light on for 15 minutes. So anyhow, you may have to go in the scale, okay? And this is a very technical drawing from Blueprints and it's to scale, just so you know. Ironically, at a scale, it's to scale. So you may have to go in the scale right there. How about that? Look at that. <laughs> Either way, sometimes when you bypass, there's another one out here. Some of them have another box out here or something over the road. That's a compliance check. Why? They're trying to bust the people that got a red light that are bypassing the scale. So this checks to make sure you didn't get a red light uh, in the truck. That's why they have that. And so then down here, somebody can uh, talk to you about it or that goes on your record of your company that, hey, trucks are getting the red light and they're still bypassing the scales. Now the scale master can set this as well however they want to set it. So they can set it for red so that all trucks go in, everybody gets a red. They can set it for random so that some trucks come in because sometimes even though you're cleared to bypass, you'll get the red anyway. And that's because it's set up for random checks or they can set a uh, bypass on it green so everybody goes by the scale in case the scale is closed um, or whatever like that so it's up to them and the scale how they want to set it up so the better your company score the more likely you are going to be able to bypass a lot of scales and just keep on cruising and that of course is going to make you money so that's why i always recommend people check a company safer website just put the company name and safer web into your favorite search engine which is chrome and always go there or ask jeeves right and see what the, the safer web score of your company is go look do they have a lot of accidents you know do they have an out of service rate that's 40 percent okay you're going to be in the scale all the time it's important to check those kind of things. Really, that's all there is to it. Magic waves come out, hit it, sends a message back informing who it is, and that's it. You go on your way. The battery should last you easy a year, a couple years before the battery goes out, and uh, you need to change it out. Simple as that. Pre-pass, made easy. Nothing for the driver to do. Everything is handled through magic waves that come out from uh, space, I think, from another galaxy. That's how they work. They gather them up and send them down to the truck. All right, so simple as that. Thanks for watching. We'll be back soon on the next Trucking Answers. Where's my marker lid? Did it so you're just bebopping along with your load. <laughs> Cut.